Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. So I know we're all recovering from some of the recent drama that's been happening around the Discord and with Iron Mason next gone, but I thought we'd just get back to normal, cross our fingers and hope that, you know, everything sh hopefully will be fine. And April 14th will arrive, and I'll be able to do this once again with my Dual Sword Fighter class. One thing I just wanted to quickly say about this uh, run is that this is basically why you never should forget a crossbow or any type of ranged weapon ever. Just so useful. So, this is pretty early on in the playtest and I do make mistakes, especially with my timing on an adrenaline rush. You hear that? That was very weird. Okay, he's reloading normally, so hopefully he's not a cheat. Anyway, so moving right into this one, like you'll see, it is another dual sword setup, which I ran a lot. And um, I think I got a blue arming sword here, hitting for, you know, 60, 70. And then basically just a cheap short sword just to back it up. This is essentially what I used pretty much every time I uh, lost a kid. I would just buy a blue armor sword and then spend a bit of gold on some armor and other items. It can get pricey if you're dying a lot as a solo player, but um, it's certainly not as expensive as other options. Once again... I think I've had a video before with the spawn where I said I'm not a huge fan of it. It's noisy. There's a lot of mobs. And I don't ever find the skeletons actually give you that amazing loot. Even most times if you kill red skeletons, I don't find it all that too exciting. At least we got zone, so that's a good start. And then we'll, um... Hopefully work our way into the middle. This room can be kind of a pain, because if you go through the, the nonsense that's the room beside you, it's a whole nother host of archers, and I think there's a wizard in there in the middle. If you can kind of get in there. Something I don't do when I'm so well. Same idea for the little passageway that bridges these two rooms. You have to deal with skeleton champion and a whole bunch of other nonsense, so... Solo players definitely have to pick their routes. Like, choose where they're going well. Or else you can just run out of time. Or take a whole bunch of damage that you shouldn't be taking. So we're going to go this way. Which is actually an interesting room if you can skirt around the edges of it. And I instantly hear some commotion. I really didn't want to aggro that skeleton, but here we are. Hopefully they don't notice. I'm hearing lots of steps. I heard a barb, and I think I heard a cleric spell. Oh yeah, we got a couple guys. So I think they know I'm here, so I'm gonna have to just get this sorted. It almost looks like a couple guys are fighting each other, so I might be able to pick a few off. A lot of targets, really hard to see. We launch a bolt and it actually catches that guy right in the face. Now I'm not sure what we're left with, whether this is a team of three or a team of two. But we're taking arrows from the other side, so... We're gonna move up the stairs, hopefully get to a little bit safer position. That guy went invisible. I don't know what happened there. I think that second arrow caught him though. Hearing a bunch of noise over here, we gotta go check it out. And we get a rogue getting chased by a wizard, so... We're just gonna stand up here and hopefully catch somebody with a bolt. And now we're gonna get pushed. Take him once. And clang that into the wall, so that didn't help any. Looks like this guy's stuck between a bunch of enemies. We're not gonna chase anybody here, because we're a solo. Still hearing steps, so I think it's that wizard that's close by. I aggroed that skeleton, which isn't nice. Things are kind of quiet all of a sudden. But not a whole lot of kills in the kill feed, so everyone's still around. Yeah, there we go. We get our fighter guy back. Yeah. 
We have at least one fighter over there. Maybe he's teamed with the wizard? Sounds like the wizard coming back, or the rogue, someone moving really quickly. Yeah, that's a lot of quick steps. We get a headshot, we get a chest shot. I think he's running from the wizard. I'm not sure. Really not sure what's going on. Burned Adrenaline Rush, which was really dumb of me. I expected to finish that fight off. And honestly, I thought the wizard was going to push in with him. So, uh, I was really expecting to be turning on two people. This is just extremely chaotic and just never seems to end. Next one, he's clearing the skeleton for us. But now, maybe we can fight. There, we killed one. We still got this rogue. Now we're getting tagged by arrows again. We got a ranger over there. We hit him once, for sure. And we even got a guy below now. There's just no, uh, no safe spot right now. We end up actually catching him with a, just a blind guess. And now he's a little grumpy. I had no clue who was there. I just hadn't heard him and thought maybe I should swing. Just in case, um... Yeah, just in case he was hidden in a corner trying to backstab me. Now he's in a really terrible spot. I got a crossbow on him. And we got guys across with longbows and stuff, so... Pretty brutal setup for this rogue. I'm not feeling too bad about where I'm at. He pushes me just as I start this bandage. <laughs> and he growls at me. So we have to we have to put him down the hard way. We end up getting that guy with the crossbow headshot. And now we got one guy left over there, which is the fighter. So we're dropping a lot of people here, mainly because of the crossbow. This was the wizard, yeah. Hmm. I'm expecting him to pop out again. I think he had a bow, but maybe not. He's definitely going to be looting his friend, though. And things all of a sudden just got really quiet. Which we can actually maybe loot. Weaker bow. Wish I had to grab that shrine. We're probably gonna be forced into the same room, so we have to be careful. And he looked like he had full gear, like full plate. It's kind of a tough fight with the dual sword, especially now that I've wasted. Oh, we got a rogue right there. And here comes our friend. This is gonna be nice. I'm stuck right on this corner. He comes for me, out of revenge. We land some nice hits and kill him through the shield. And then the rogue decides, yeah, this is his time to act. He's watching too many repose videos. And that's it, sadly. Unfortunately, that was just perfect timing by the rogue. We did a lot of work there and got rewarded absolutely nothing. So that kind of sucks a little bit, but there's things to be excited about, like getting a thousand subscribers, which I have to thank you guys all for. I really appreciate it, and I'm actually still quite surprised to how, how well we've done, despite this game not even being completely released. That being said, hopefully we do get our playtest on April 14th, and we'll actually get to enjoy this game again, as I know many of us are excited to do. So cheers, thank you all, and I hope to see you in the playtest on April 14th.